This is week 12, day one, Lazy Eights. Again, one of my favorite exercises. The benefits to Lazy Eights are better binocular and peripheral vision, improved eye muscle coordination, reading, decoding written language, reading comprehension, and elimination of reversals and transpositions. Lazy Eight has several ways of doing it. What is recommended again is that you do it on a chalkboard or a whiteboard to begin. And basically what you're doing is an eight on its side or an infinity side sign. You're going to want to track the marker as you do it. So you start in the middle, you go up to the left, then up to the right, down and around. And that's the lazy eight on the board. The child keeps following the marker around with his eyes. Another way of doing the lazy eight is simply putting your hand, your finger out in front of you and drawing a lazy eight. You want to keep your head still but track the finger with your eyes, doing three repetitions with the right hand, then three repetitions with the left hand, and then you're going to bring both hands together in the middle and do another repetition. There is a caution with this exercise, and that is that if the child's brain is really not too well integrated, he might end up being dizzy and possibly nauseated. We have had kids who've thrown up trying to do this exercise. So if that happens, if he starts feeling dizzy or nauseated at all, stop. Then go back to it on another day. And eventually he will be able to do this exercise as his brain becomes more coordinated and integrated. And that's Lazy Gates.